it's really nice to see you all here. So many of you have heard about the special guest we're going to have today. And she's here, but you can't see her yet. We've got a few things. We're going to say hello. Thank you for joining us. She's uh, waiting off to the side, but we're going to join her in. This is the first time we've been able to have a special guest live, and we're excited. We have a lot to talk about. We're showcasing our Rainbows collection. It's a collection exclusive to Simon Says Stamp. It went for sale this week uh, at simonsaysstamp.com, and we have loads of inspiration to share with you today. You can kind of see it scattered around my desk already. I'm going to show you the product up close and personal along with inspiration to get you moving. And if you comment in any of our chats today, hello YouTubers, hello Facebookers, you are eligible for a hundred dollar gift card to buy any of these products we're showing you today or anything else we have in our Simon Says Stamp one-stop shop. You can buy anything you want with that $100 gift card. So comment with us today, and that will make you eligible for the $100 gift card. Reed, are you going to draw those names on Monday? Yeah, Monday at okay. noon. Okay, Monday at noon, Reed will draw those names. And speaking of, Reed, I don't know, I should have asked you, are you in a position to get in the camera and, and wave and say hello? Yeah, if you want me to. So many <laughs> applause to our friend Reed. Reed Hensel, thank you for joining yes. us. Really tall, I promise. Well, you know, oh, yeah, he is very tall. Very tall and young and energetic and enthusiastic. Reed does a really great job. See these beautiful balloons behind me? I mean, when you've got a release called Rainbows, you got to go all the way. Reed puts all of this together. He got the technical lighting. He gets the camera set up. So really, Reed does a lot, and we want to make sure we give him thank you, a round of applause and gratitude. He even sets up ahead of time for me to, to prepare. I find that the more I prepare for something, the less nervous I get, which I wish I would have learned that 45 years ago. But that's a tip for you. Even in your card making, if you just like set out your inks and your blank cards the day before or the night before, I think it sparks extra inspiration for you to just move if you put a little preparation in it. I don't know. A lesson I'm learning in my life. Same thing with cooking. If I can uh, buy my groceries on Sunday night and plan ahead for the week, it just eliminates so much stress in my life. Why have I been a procrastinator for so long? Because it really helps. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but our school just let out yesterday. My kids are both out of school now. I've got a son and a daughter, and uh, summer is officially starting today. So happy summer to all of you, wherever you may be. I appreciate you joining us. If you want to share this video, if you like what you're seeing and like what we're going to talk about today and want maybe your friends to even have an opportunity to win a gift card, share this uh, on your social media or your Facebook page. And uh, the more that comes to something like this, the merrier. And speaking of uh, the more the merrier, well, I'll still got a couple more minutes until, until she comes in. Uh, I want to make sure I talk about Simon updates. So, it's really wonderful. Our smiles are showing. You saw Reed's smile. We are back at 100% at Simon Says Stamp. Uh, we had our people who could work from home working mostly from home for the last 14 months, and we really miss everybody. So it's so nice. We have everybody back in person now. Uh, most of our team has already been completely vaccinated. My son actually even got his first vaccination. Uh, and it's nice to be able to see our smiles and to communicate. And uh, it's really refreshing to see the summer, such an optimistic summer ahead of us. So uh, welcome. And one more reminder before, my, before our guest comes in is we're having a blog hop. A lot of this inspiration you're gonna see today will be unique to this YouTube and Facebook Live. But if you join our blog hop, you will see even more inspiration. You can just go to simonsistantblog.com. It starts there, and we'll do it today. Every stop on the hop is a different artist using some of these products and showing you some inspiration, sharing it with you. Hopefully, it sparks some inspiration for you to create your own things. And something extra special. I'm not going to spill the beans, but if you join the hop, there is a free gift available for you that the uh, bloggers are actually showcasing on their blogs. So the free gift is going to run all through the weekend, so you don't have to leave this live necessarily to go there yet. 
but there's a fabulous free gift that we're offering in honor of our rainbows release for Simon's Stamp. Now, I'm gonna put my earbud in so that I can hear our special guest. Reed has put a lot of preparation to bring us together. And is now a good time? Yeah, I'll bring her over. So without further ado, we have somebody special okay. who not only designed products from this release, but she also has created inspiration that she's going to share with you today. So without further ado, Kathy Zilski of CZ Design, are you there? I am here, Heidi. I am here. Coming to you Yay. live from the craft slash dining room in St. Paul, Minnesota. Welcome. Hi, hey, now, you're, so glad to be here. Your time zone's a little different, right? What time is it for you? We're one hour behind you, so I'm in central time. Okay. Yeah. I'm just getting my screen up so I can see you talking too. Yeah. Okay. Turn my volume down. Where it's so also Kathy, going to be 800 degrees today. I'm just going to put that out. It's going to be so hot today. I'm going to be melting later on in the afternoon. Thank you for coming and going through all of this headset, camera, logistics to be able to virtually see each other. Can you tell us a little bit about how CZ Design came to be? Yes, Heidi, I can make this story long or short, but in the name of time, I'm going to make it really short. Back in 2002, um, I, I, uh, I was always kind of a crafty person, but I never, I never did anything crafty. And there was a store that opened up in the Twin Cities where I live in Minnesota called Archivers. It was this scrapbooking store. And one fateful day, I wandered in there to pick up some photo albums because I had read an article about it. And that was literally the start of my deep dive into paper craft. Prior to that time, I had never done anything like scrapbooking, certainly never done card making. And it, I went one day and I went back the next day and I went back the next day. You, you know what I'm saying, right? I kind of got kept going back. And that was in 2002. I fell really hard into scrapbooking. Um, I started working 2002. for scrapbook yeah 2002 so i i got into scrapbooking i started working eventually for scrap for simple scrapbooks magazine because i was also a graphic designer and i loved the i thought if there's a way i can let them combine my actual skills with my hobbies and they gave me a job and i worked for them for a number of years i started teaching online classes for scrapbooking and designing digital products but then fast forward through all these years of working in the scrapbook industry in 2017, at that time I was working as the art director, which is another job that I do for Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. And the publisher said, oh yeah, Kathy, we need you to make some cards for, for something, we, for an issue or something for the blog or whatever. And I'm like, oh, all right, send me the stuff. That was the rabbit hole opening to card making because since 2017, I feel like my life has changed as a card maker. I, there are so many things that as a scrapbooker, I had no idea as far as card making, but yet I had a lot of the tools, you know? I had a lot of the, you know, the things. And thanks to help from a lot of good friends that I had made over the years in scrapbooking, I'm talking to you, Jennifer McGuire. I, I just, I went all in on it and I have been working well, in, in 2017, in June, I, I have this date written down, you and I started working together um, and you invited me into the Simon family to work as a graphic, des graphic designer and card maker. And that, that is where I am today, which has been an awesome, awesome thing for me. It's That's been awesome for us too, Kathy. I don't know if the viewers all know this, but you have a line of stamps, dies we even are doing stencils that are yeah. cz design physical products right. and i saw you doing stamps and again thanks to jennifer mcguire yeah she connected us i saw she you did. doing stamps and you were also doing your own p packing and shipping and simon is really good at doing that and 
I can't and I don't design any products. So it really became a good opportunity for us to connect and for you, at least from my perspective, for you to be able to focus on the graphic design skills and talent and for 100%. us to be able to help you with carrying inventory and shipping orders and marketing and bringing these products to life through lots of different people and eyes and hands. So you gave us the and that opportunity. Yeah. Thank you. And that is Thank great for because that. honestly, the, the back end stuff is not my forte. And so it just felt like the perfect opportunity for me. So it's been, it's been a dream. We're, we're working on new products now. So it's, you know, it's, it's a delight. It's a delight. So, yeah. Thank you. Reed is going to set you up on camera so that okay. you can actually show our viewers the products that you've designed for this release okay. and some of the inspiration you've created using them. So, Reed, are awesome. you good to click the camera over? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead and adjust your camera. Okay, this is so fun. And then I'll switch the view. And you're good to go, Kathy. All right. All right. Am I, am I still live? Yep. <laughs> Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's my coffee it's cup on my, on my PET tool. Hmm. Hmm. Seriously. Not only can you do crafty things with this, but you can put hot liquids on. It's amazing. It's amazing. All right. I'm going to move this out of the way, Heidi, and show a few things. And we're going to start out with this. You are loved stamp set. So this is a really big six by eight stamp set that I designed to celebrate pride this year. And there are coordinating dies. I haven't packaged these. I like to get organized, but haven't had time to do that yet because I've been making cards. So I'm gonna show you a few cards that I made with this set. And actually this is, let's see. Oh, look at, can you see the rainbows on there, Heidi? Oh my gosh. So I have a prism in my window. Why would you do that? Because there's a prism in my window that flashes, uh, that throws rainbows onto my surface. So I feel like that is a sign that my stamp set was meant to be. All right, there's one card. Here's another card I made. Again, using the same You Are Loved stamps. And all I did with these, I just did this really simple, you know, emboss resist, but I'll show you, there's those rainbows, but I'll show you the cool thing. You see that raised texture? That yes. was done using the cool, and I, I feel like this is the coolest product. This is the Fading Hearts stencil. So it's a really large stencil. You can use it on slimline cards if you like, or like five by seven or larger projects. And what I did was I dry embossed each panel using different parts of this stencil. And oh, it's amazing. So I'm gonna set this aside too, because I'm gonna be showing you more inspiration with that. Now for this little greeting here, I, I have some sediment strips and these are also to celebrate pride. One comes with the, um, we call it reverse, which just means it looks like we printed white type. It's not white type. It's just where there is no ink and then the black on white as well. So those are the first three cards. Now I'm going to scoop this up. This is, this is very exciting, Heidi, to be doing this with on a Simon live. Cause I'm usually the one at the other end, like drooling over everything and watching everything go through. But this is another pride product. And this is an outline word die and shadow. And it's actually, you know, that's a pretty decent size, right? I have a human sized hand and that is, you know, well, that's what that is. So I want to show you two cards that I made with this. So this is a pride card using this pride outline die. And then I just did some really pretty watercolor and use that as the fill, but you can also see where I use this. Oh, there's those rainbows. Look at that. So cool. Um, but the thing that I love the most about this card is that the hearts go on to the back. <laughs> I I don't know, man. Who who knew card making was this much fun? I am dying. Okay. And then this is what I made with the leftovers. So this is actually part of what I watercolored to do the background. I just cut a little strip. I cut the Simon. Um, I used the sentiment labels to cut this little banner, and then just used the outlines and popped them up on a couple layers of the outline. So. Well, there is that. So fun. Now, moving on, I 
have a new stamp set called Sassy Insides. Now, I get a lot of people who ask, um, they love the sassy kind of snarky greetings. And these aren't like snarky inappropriate, right? They're just, they're just kind of funny. Like this, this greeting says, the hours I spent on this card simply pale into, in comparison to how much I spent on the supplies to make it. I know you people who make cards can feel me on that. So let me show you. There it is. There it is, Heidi. Um, here is, again, I, I think you can tell what my favorite stencil is from this release. I have been literally obsessed with the fading hearts. And this will be coming to the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel soon. I filmed a video for this. But there is the Obsessed With You. I used some Simon Antique Gold to emboss it. And again, used my inks to. I don't think there's a greeting on the inside of this one. Oh, yes, there is. Okay, I'll show you. It says obsessed with you and then not in a weird stalker way, but more like a high functioning sociopathic one. So, you know, you know, which friends of yours are gonna, well, they're gonna, they're gonna find that funny. Okay. The last piece I want to share with you today, I used the new Simon 3d card die. And this is amazing. Like I don't use, I don't design stuff. I think Nina Marie Trapani did this if I'm not mistaken. Yep. She I did. don't think in terms, yeah, in terms of three dimension, but you, okay, I got to show you how this works because let me put this back in the card. So here is my, here's my envelope, right? Oh, what's in here? Oh, let's take this out and see. Pull it out. Oh, come on now. Now I got it stuck in here. Okay. It's, there we go. I'm a highly trained professional. And there's another stencil too that I will show you that I used on this, but watch what happens. Ooh. Fun. obsessed with you it's a 3d pop-up card and i put obsessed with you on the front i used this tiny fading dot stencil and again the rainbow doesn't come on the stencil that is literally being thrown from the prism in my window but i used this i actually flipped it that way to create this little pattern and then i extended that pattern using a little i think this is it's Simon Lavender cardstock and Victorian velvet to kind of create this tone on tone look. And on the back, it says, I hope you love this card I created just for you. I can't wait to see how you'll display it the next time I stop by unannounced. I think card makers, we get that. Anyway, that is what I wanted to share. Heidi, those are the pieces um, just from, you know, just a few things. And honestly, I'm just getting started with this collection. Uh, super excited to do more, but those are those are the basics. So, read you, you can pull me back to front if you want, but pull Kathy we go. back to front because this is a really good time to share her information. Kathy's really active on social media. She shows her inspiration, she shows what she's creating. She does a lot of chat on Instagram Live, which I love, and on Instagram stories. So, Kathy, will you share with us where you're active on social media and how people can find you? I will indeed. You can find me on Instagram at, at C as in Kathy, Z as in Zebra Design, just CZ Design. And I'm also on YouTube. Same thing if you enter CZ Design or just type Kathy Z, I think Kathy Z YouTube will pop right up. And I'm on Facebook too. Again, just Kathy Zilski Design. Uh, I'm, I'm everywhere all the time. For, for someone who doesn't leave the house, it's amazing how many places I'm at at one time virtually. <laughs> You're here today in Columbus, Ohio. I'm so. here today as well, and I'm at Simon Says Stamp Live. So thank you for having me today, Heidi. Thank you for joining us. Reed, is there anything we need to do before we say goodbye to Kathy? Uh, no, thank okay. you so much for taking time out of your day to be a part of this. It was my yes. pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank Have you, Kathy. Day. Have a great day. Now everybody else is staying live with us because we've got a couple of opportunities for you to win $100 gift cards to Simon Says Stamp just by commenting and participating today. If you're watching us on Rewatch, please don't be shy. We want to get to know you too. We do watch the comments on Rewatch. As a matter of fact, Reed on Monday is going to be drawing $100 gift cards. And you can come to simonsaysstamp.com and buy whatever you want. Today I've got some inspiration for you with this release. It's called Rainbows, exclusively available at Simon Says Stamp. And I don't know if we touched on this in Kathy's portion of today's uh, live, 
that Kathy Zilski's stamp styles and stencils are exclusively available at Simon Says Stamp too. So I'll be showcasing a little bit of that while we're together. Reed, will you switch the camera angle so that people can see all these beautiful things up close and personal? And uh, I can show the inspiration. Yep, switching up now. Up close. You're good. Now, I will uh, put a quick glimpse of these holographic envelopes. You can receive these for free if you join our blog hop. Uh, you'll see how to do that. These are exclusive to Simon Says Stamp. They're literally holographic envelopes. People are addressing them with Sharpies and also address labels. Copic markers work really nicely with these too. Uh, they're sealable. You actually get a set of six. I'm using the other envelope with some other inspiration. You can die cut these too. This paper is really beautiful for die cutting. Uh, I'm gonna start with a cling stamp that Sherry Carroll designed for you. This is called Shine On. All of our cling stamps are made in the United States. This one has red rubber. It uh, is also indexed with the actual image. So when you put this on a block or in your Misty, you can actually see exactly, you know, your sun eyes are gonna line up uh, with the rubber on the other side. So we do this for your convenience because we are stampers at heart and uh, we know that that's something that's important for a stamper is lining up your images. We've got inspiration using this. I asked Sherry and Nina Marie Trapani if they had any stories for us today about the products that they designed and Sherry's fun story is uh, she came up with the concept to do a sun like this and I just begged and pleaded her to bring it to life. So thank you, Sherry, for designing this. There's another stamp set that you'll see that is very similar, but takes it a little further. This stamp set is called Hello Sunshine. This is a clear stamp set. We've added some sentiments to it. Sunny days ahead. I mean, we all need this kind of encouragement. Make your own sunshine. Hello, sunshine. You Brighten My Day also has rainbow. Those rainbows are super fun to emboss and then watercolor. That's one of my favorite techniques right now. And we have some inspiration. This one is created by none other than Nina Marie Trapani. She sent this in. Speaking of embossing and watercoloring, there's some embossing and watercoloring on this card. We have some inspiration from Meg Brooks. Thank you to the designers who took the time to create all of this inspiration for you ahead of time and make it available for our live today. This one is also by Meg Brooks called You Brighten My Day is the, is the card sentiment that she chose from this clear stamp set. Again, all of these products are available at simonsystamp.com exclusively and they're part of our rainbows collection. You're going to see a lot of rainbow popping out. Uh, Nina also designed this C's. It, oh, you know what? Nina's in the chat. So if you guys have any questions about how she created any of the products or even the cards, um, she's, she's chatty. She likes to share. This community is great because we all get to have one thing in common and that's definitely creativity and card making. She designed this C's and greetings stamp set. We've got my love for you is bigger than the ocean. Let's plan a beach day. Don't worry, beach happy. See you soon. And we've got some beautiful seize the day. Uh, there are coordinating dies that came with this collection. Um, another seize the day. See how the chair is on here? This is, I don't have names on these cards. Oh, Amber. So I think that Amber... Rain Davis must have made these cards. This one is Heather Rui. And you know what? Heather Rui has a blog, handmadebyheather.com. And in her blog, she showcases how she creates the inspiration that I share with you today. So you can see how she made. I don't know. What do you guys call this kind of card? Is this like a, it's not a slider card, but it does slide a little bit. Maybe a box card. Um, I don't know, maybe in the comments you guys can all identify what, there's got to be a name for this type of card. Of course, we've got the coordinating dies that go with C's and greetings available for your convenience. 
People are calling it a pop-up card. Pop-up. There we go. Thank you, Reed. Mm -hmm. Reed is definitely the ultimate moderator. Another stamp set, uh, this is one that Kathy Zilski just shared with you guys that she designed called You Are Loved. This one is a six by eight, so it's a big, beautiful, bold size. See that that rainbow even is the front of an A2 card. This card, thank you, Callie person. Callie designed this card for us today. See this little detail on the stamp, love is love. It's a little heart with the word is on it. Another card from this stamp set, this one, I'm guessing Amber must have done this one as well since there's no name on it. But see how a six by eight stamp set really allows you to have larger images that can really dominate the front of a card. And of course, Cindy from CRN Cards, look at the rainbow. So she actually made strips of paper in all different colors of cardstock and assembled them with the stamped hands on the front with the hearts and the palms. So. Oh, this is Susie's card. Hey, Susie. Susie are, Susie, are you in our chat today? Well, the I don't pride know. Card. I see Susan in the chat, which is sharing that this is Susie's, but um, this yeah. is Susie's card. So Susie Pant Plantamura is actually the woman we refer to as Susie P. And she designs a series of watercolors, of watercolor cards for us that we like to release every time we do a Simon Says Stamp release. And this is her most recent. Cindy created this card. And this card, I think, actually was by Susie Plantamura. Uh, and these are the watercolor cards for you. So for your stamping and uh, really coloring pleasure, we have two of each print. So these are printed on watercolor cardstock. It's actually Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock. And all of these images can be colored or watercolored. I like to use markers when I watercolor. You can even use Copic markers and just color them. Uh, send, or this is this uh, imagery here. See how you can really bring a card to life with coloring. Isn't that crazy? Dang, that's awesome. So you can stamp on these to make a card front, or you could use one of our famous sentiment strips. So Kathy also showed these for you a little bit uh, a few minutes ago. We have sentiment strips in all kinds of thing, themes. Uh, I think we originally started developing sentiment strips about two years ago. What's handy for these strips of paper? Well, they're not strips yet. You just slice them with your scissors and you've got really detailed messages that you can adhere with glue or foam and put these on the front of your cards. And you're not stamping these really tiny words. Um, you're, you're, you're cutting them, which just simplifies the process. The other really nice thing about our Simon Says Stamp sentiment strips are that we print them on a really heavy duty cardstock, just like all of our card making supplies. We try to make them as high quality as possible for you. You can see here's a sentiment strip there too. I'm trying, I'm looking for cards on my desk that, um, we do a lot of cards with sentiment strips. Um, the thing about sentiment strips that's also special for us is we print it with toner ink and toner ink can be foiled. So you have foil, you can use one of our sentiment strips to make a foiled card. Um, if I find a, Example, as I, as I carry on, oh, I'll show you some more that people that are using sentiment strips. Here is a cling stamp called Waves Builder. Remember how I showed you before that our cling stamps are indexed, which means they're printed with the image on one side, and they're really high quality rubber made in the United States. We strive, we're, I, you heard Kathy Zilski talk a little bit ago about how she started in this industry as a scrapbooker. That's really common. I scrapbooked too, and I still do from time to time. I think most of us do, especially because we have the supplies. But because we're making things handmade, I happen to be a first love card maker, we want our products to really be high quality. So we sell high quality cardstock. We, we try to make high quality products available for each of you. Here's some sentiment strips. So see how this one is made by Tina Smith. See how what Tina did here, she just took 
the sentiment strips and cut them off. Now she used a different set than I have, I think, showing in front of me. But she just trimmed that up and added a, to her art, she added sentiments to art. Easy peasy. This, I suspect, was made by Sherry Carroll because I don't know if you guys can recognize a Sherry Carroll card, but I find that I'm becoming more adept at that through the years working with her. She has a special touch with the way that she designs things. Um, oh, it is from that set. No, this one is. Oh, Reed is, you guys, Reed is genius. Uh, this is actually an example of somebody who used our new sentiment strips on a card fret to the future Mr. and Mrs. So this artist, Nina Marie Trapani, was able to spend a lot of time and joy and the process of stamping and watercoloring and creating a piece of art. Then she was able to add whichever sentiment she felt appropriate for that card. And that's one of the reasons why our sentiment strips are incredibly popular. I love them. I actually keep them in my purse because my kids keep making, uh, <laughs> I, I, they, they like to, especially my daughter just turned 10, she likes to take these watercolor cards I just showed you guys when we're in the car or when we have a long drive and she's not allowed to be on her electronics, she'll use those watercolor cards and make cards for her teachers and her friends. She's being really social now that we're, um, they were back, they're back in school or they were for six weeks. And uh, here's some more sentiment strips on the congratulations card. So Cindy from CRN Cards created this card for your pleasure today. I don't know who made this absolutely gorgeous card. I mean, seriously, all of these cards are gorgeous, but I'm looking at the detail. Look at the coloring detail on this. I mean, the time and effort. This card is beautiful. These were made with the Delicate Outline Flowers Cling Stamp. Now, if you go to Christina Warner's blog or her social media, you will see she created some really beautiful cards using this cling stamp as well, designed by Christina. So you can get even more inspiration uh, on her blog. Now I'm going to move on to a product that... Before you move oh, on, yep. quick question about the Waves Builders. Yep, do Waves they, Builders. Do they separate? Oh, I'm glad you said that, Reed. So, yes, you can choose to stamp it all as one piece, or you can peel off the waves, it's kind of like a puzzle, and create all kinds of techniques. So they'll come attached together and you can leave them attached, but you can also build your own waves. And you know what? We're stampers. We like to do this, so as stampers, we dreamed up uh, a cling stamp that could do more things than a typical just one flat piece cling stamp. And so we did this Waves Builder cling stamp for you guys. So yeah, that was good. I'm glad you mentioned that. And now when I'm not so nervous or shaky, they will then cling back to the cling sheet that's included in your package. Or if you use those stamp pockets that are wildly popular, uh, you can store those in your stamp pockets too. Uh, I was going to get to... Now, speaking of blogs, Jennifer McGuire's blog yesterday uh, had some really cool projects and techniques using embossing folders. Embossing folders are newer for our Simon Says Stamp line. I will say there are a lot of great quality embossing folders out there. And in my opinion, uh, this is as high quality as it gets. These are thick. You can use them for techniques. You can use it with um, your ink pads and actually do a letter press. This happens to be a three-dimensional one, so you get extra. I don't know if you guys can tell from this card, but see how the leaves actually look like they lay over each other? That's because it's a 3D embossing folder. Oh, good idea, Reed. And this one is called Leaf Bundle. So this is exclusive to Simon Says Stamp. Can you guys see that a little better when we put that on black cardstock? Okay, again, the name of this one is Leaf Bundle, part of our Rainbows Collection. Hey, just a reminder, if you want to share some of this inspiration with your friends, go for it. We would really appreciate that. If you like what you're seeing, we appreciate when you can spread the word. Uh, this one is called Vine Canopy. This one has been wildly popular uh, in the first days of release. We've got coat, a card by Joe. Oh, thank you, Reed. You're good. I, get, I just get nervous and I forget. I kind of lose my 
wits about me when I'm so nervous. This is by Cindy from CRN Cards. She actually almost like, um, oh, sand, you know, uh, use sandpaper to create and bring out that embossed uh, raised edges there. This card is by Meg Brooks. Again, thank you ladies and gentlemen for sending your cards to us in Columbus, Ohio, which is where we are today, uh, to be able to share this inspiration for you know anybody that's watching us on our live or on our rewatch because we get a lot of people coming on rewatch and I want to say hi to them too. Uh, I get I'm seeing these you are enough. You probably just saw that you are enough enough imagery. That you are enough was actually a request by me. Uh, it's a die set, which means there's actually multiple dies included. I like to keep mine together. Some people use their snippers and snip them apart, uh, but that du duplicate allows for you to create a perfectly matched white shadow or whatever color shadow you wanna make for the You Are Enough. Now, I just thought You Are Enough was a necessary sentiment. My daughter just turned 10. She's, she's starting to go through this, you know, having friends and questioning who she is and her grades at school and did she get invited at, the, at recess to play the same games that the other girls were playing. And I just try to, as much as, oh, isn't that cool? Meg Brooks. I just try to be encouraging to her at the end of the day when we do our tuck-ins just to be, you know, honey, you are enough. You look in the mirror and you've got to love yourself. I, I, I think it's helpful for us to tell each other that, not just as women, but as human beings. Let me share who made some of these. Meg Brooks, uh, Heather Rui, and the original by Nina Marie Trapani. I think it's important, you know, as card makers too, just to send an encouraging, uplifting message to somebody you know, love, and care about, you are enough seems like a, a pretty um, encouraging sentiment to me. So here we have a stamp set with somebody who is newly, uh, this is her second time she's designed a product with us. Her name is Lydia Diaz. You might recognize her from her Etsy store, Clever Girl Craftings, or her YouTube channel. So Lydia and Christina Warner collaborated to make this stamp set together. Lydia's a newer card maker, newer, newer to our, our card making community, but she's a beautiful illustrator and makes uh, a lot of designs uh, that are not just for card makers, but for people who do planning in their journals and do uh, I guess planners is the word. So we donate 100% of the profits for every product that Lydia designs with us to her favorite charity. Um, I thought we had her favorite charity listed on here, but it's listed in the description in, um, in our website. So she also has coordinating dies. Again, this is named Beach Beauties. So you can die cut these images. And I like how versatile they are. This one is made by Barbara Terrio. I'm so nervous, I'm like, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'll try to get my composure. Uh, this one is probably by Sherry Carroll. That's just a guess. And another one by Barbara Terrio. So thank you for sending these in. Now, you'll wanna make sure you join our, our blog hop because Lydia is part of the blog hop, Lydia Diaz, and thank you, Lydia, for collaborating with us uh, on our stamp and die release. Again, all of these products are available as part of our Rainbows collection. Just became available at Simon Says Stamp yesterday. Our blog hop is going on today, and we have another one tomorrow. Don't forget, all of the hoppers have a special code for you so you can get this pack of holographic envelopes that look rainbow in the right kind of light. They can be die cut, they can be used as addressing, address light, address them and mail them. They're actually originally envelopes, but they're more versatile than that. We've got another embossing folder. This has a card by Nina Marie Trapani. Look how she used foil to catch the pieces of the, um, the raised edges of that embossing folder. Clever idea, Nina. Then I've got a card from Tina Smith, the best, which is another die set that I'll show you in a few minutes. We've got one by Crystal Thompson. 
Thank you, Crystal, for showing that. Callie Person, or for sending that, I should say. Thank you to all the ladies and gentlemen, again, who took the time to send us these cards. So that was using the, the best, thanks, Reed, okay. using the best die set. And I say set because, again, it's the words, the best, with the shadow that goes with it. So, again, I mean, you guys can make little notes for anybody and put them in their car, put them in their office. I could put them on my dad's desk. My dad actually has a little office space close by. Uh, we like leaving notes. Simply the best. Uh, so this is another die. So if you want to add it with the best, you could make simply the best. Or you can add another sentiment, like we have a, a sentiment beautiful that I would add to this simply set. Again, I call it a set because it is two dies so that you can get, you don't have to use them together. See this card right here by Joe Sasabith. He actually just used the word simply without the shadow and it's a nice elegant card front too. And Sherry Carroll created this. Sherry also on this card used, oh, this is a good time to show you the stamp set. A stamp set called Birthday Seedlings also has a coordinating die set. You can see the Birthday Seedlings here too by Callie Person. All right, I think I need to grab myself a drink of water. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. While I'm grabbing my drink of water, I'll show you some beautiful eye candy. And I'll do some filler. Uh, so the charity for Lydia Diaz is Therapy for Black Girls, and 100% of the profits go to that. Thank you, Reed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We did that with her first set, and we're just going ahead and doing it for her second set, too. So I'm sorry it's not on the back of the packaging, but it is on our website. Here is a stamp set for the season. Tied the knot. People are still getting married. Hint, hint, read. No, it's okay. <laughs> I won't get too much in your personal life. You've been dating Dana for six and a half a years. Few years. A little just bit a few. longer. <laughs> just a few. Hi, Dana, if you're here. Or Reed's mom, who oftentimes joins us. Reed's mom's a crafter too. So here is a stamp set. Four by six to the happy couple. You tied the knot on your engagement. So happy for you, great sentiment. Look at the car too. You don't need to be sending a wedding card to use that car, but look how nice and big and bold that car, to, car is. This one is by Cindy from CRN Cards. She has that delicate flower background cling stamp that we showed you a few minutes ago. And check out the coloring on this. Joseph Sivith, you knocked this out of the park. I love the font of this so happy for you. Add the little heart embellishments. Look at the car, the detail in the shading of that car. Can you guys see that? It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. Don't mean to shout. And of course we have the coordinating dies. So if you want to make your car pop on the page, I would probably use an action wobble. Do I have any other action wobblers in the house? Raise your hands. Uh, I'm an action wobbler nut. Are there any questions before I, I've kind of been just no, bulldozing ahead. Okay, speaking of Nina Marie Trapani, Nina, I love this stamp set. Love it, love it, love it. It's called, I wanna say I'm sweet on you. It's called Sunday Afternoons. This is a six by eight stamp set and look how that size allows for all of these great sentiments. Birthdays were meant to be celebrated with your favorite treats, sweetest wishes for your birthday, you are so sweet and I'm happy to know you. Ice cream calories don't count on your birthday. I'm sweet on you. I will say, yesterday was our kids' last day of school and our neighbor, uh, who we carpool with and is also one of my best friends, has children who go to the same school as ours. And so we threw an ice cream party. So when they got out of school, we had all of the toppings, all of the, well, we had chocolate and vanilla ice cream, toppings, hot fudge, caramel, ready for them on their last day of school. So sweets don't have to just be a celebration of birthdays. Uh, look at this slimline card. When you have cards or uh, stamps of this size, it gives you some flexibility of uh, using them to make bigger hearts. And isn't this one cool too? Slimline card by Lisa Odessa. Again, this is the stamp set Sunday afternoons with the coordinating dies. They're sold separately or together as a set. 
So thank you. Look at this card. I mean, Joe, another absolute knockout. Look at the shading on those berries. Nice job, folks. Nice job. So even if you don't have these products, I hope that you find inspiration in the techniques that we're showing you. Lisa Odessa used a stencil with this congratulations die. Uh, you can probably recognize that handwriting. It's Christina Warner's handwriting. We requested a nice big card with congratulations on it. So you don't have to have these particular products to make this card, but see how you can blend any stencil to make a background of a rainbow or a nice pop Skittles theme and just pop, put a big sentiment over top of it. Reed's actually, thank you for getting the sentiment. This is called Slimline Wave. So it can be ocean waves or it can just be a beautiful background on a card like this. So I would love for you guys to try these products or any similar products to make high quality cards. Our dyes are this, well, these are made in the United States and I think this is a set, yes. Remember what I was talking about a minute ago where there's a shadow and a word. You don't have to use them together, but when you do, you get this extra bold effect. Pride, celebrate, love is love. I love who you are. So proud to stand with you. This one made by Heather Rui, handmade by Heather Rui is her blog where she showcases how she's made a lot of these cards with um, and more. And Heather's got an interesting blog because she doesn't always stick to just card making. She's got cool ideas for, um, actually I moved on from that to the next product, let me set that aside. The next product is called On the Ground. This one I think is almost sold out. This was the, this was the runaway of this release. Uh, it was the unexpected fan favorite. Um, unexpected just because I think this time of year we see a lot more florals and wedding um, this one apparently just has so many possibilities, people are going nuts for it. And it's one of those stamps that we talked about a little bit ago actually peels apart if you want, or you could keep it together, and you've got lots of background images. See how this gnome has that grass in the background? Thank you, Meg, for sending this card. So it's got stones and grass and checkerboard, which are fun to color in however you like. This almost reminds me of a front doormat, so does this. Look at this beautiful Joe. Oh my gosh. Man, I just want to go and craft with you, Joe. This, ugh, the detail's beautiful. Yes, Reed. Uh, so I saw it on YouTube, uh, just for the Facebook people. Joe's Instagram is VJS Joey. If you'd like to follow him and just see all the amazing projects he makes. VJS Joey. Yeah, I mean, I think he, uh, absolutely knocked this release out of the park. See this interesting card? This is what, similar to what um, Kathy Zilski was showing you in her, um, when we went live. You mail it flat and it pops up. So this actual card was designed by Nina Tr Marie Trapani and it's actually pretty simple to use. And we have a video, if it's not live yet, we'll have it live soon. It is live, how she did this with a 3D card dies so this is a set of dies and you can make a the card and all of the pop-ups you just glue them together in the middle and the card is flat when you mail it and pops up for the person so that's the 3d card pop-up question yes, about that 3d card yeah. is the rainbow uh embossed or is that paper so it looks like oh good question are you talking about the bubbles yep i don't know nina you're in one of the chats i it almost looks like she blended it and they used some kind of, can you see the glitter on top of it? I don't know if she used a mousse that had glitter in it or a gel that had glitter in it, or if she just ink blended it with her handy dandy blender tool. And I don't know, but it's, she used a stencil. See the stencil right here? She used the stencil called fading circles to create that background. And this Lisa Odessa, I'd love to know what medium Lisa Odessa used too. It almost feels like a, a gel, maybe one of Tonic's gels, but isn't that cool? And you, you, you look at circles and you're like, well, that's pretty simple, but wow, how cool of a, how cool of things you can do with it. 
So we did this in fading circles. We did it in the stencil also in fading stars. The one that Kathy showed in her live is fading hearts. These have been incredibly popular too. And you can see this one, Crystal Thompson created this card. I'm pretty sure she foiled it. She probably used foiling gel and foiled this card uh, using this stencil. So we have another fading one in the series called fading tiny dots, which are a nice background uh, really for anything. Dots are universal. And another slimline stencil, because we've been adding a lot of slimline to our offerings. You guys are responding well and you're loving them. I'm loving them. This is the sun that I begged Sherry for. She listened because she brought her to life in a clear stamp and a cling stamp and a slimline stencil. So thank you, Sherry, for doing that. My share bear. She just had her birthday this week. Before you move on, uh, yeah. Nina with that 3D card, she used Distress Oxide inks. She added transparent texture paste on top, and then she sprinkled Simon Glitter on top of that. Nice. So one more time, she used Distress Oxide inks, added transparent texture paste on top of that, and then sprinkled all of that with Simon Glitter. Are you going to show us, Nina, on uh, your blog, Nina Marie Trapani, someday how you did that? NinaMarieDesign.com. I hope you do. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. She might have already shown it. And back to embossing folders. This gives you a nice imagery, wild flower field, nice high quality embossing folder, which means it will last you a long time. It means you can use it for a lot of different techniques and it won't break. You can clean it easily. Lisa Odessa sent us this beautiful card. I, you know, I've been feeling wood block mounted stamps and I think one of the reasons why I feel them is because I can sit them on my desk and leave them, uh, you know, almost how you have the best mom in the world, little nameplate. I don't know if you guys do. I, I want one to actually, uh, hint, hint, but, uh, I, I like to put these on my desk, on my shelves. I just think wood block, wood block stamps are nice art and they create nice art. So these are also made in the United States. We've got high quality rubber. We've got nice wood, and this is exclusive uh, to Simon Says Stamp. This one is designed by Christina Warner. Thank you, Christina. That's a wood block stamp in this release. We've got a couple of other options for wood block. We've got warm hugs and thank you. We've got three wood block stamps in this release. Again, this is called Rainbows. I hope you guys are, um, no, I think I remember to tell you that we've got $100 gift cards to give away to the people who are live with us today. So if you're commenting and chatting, at the end of today's live, we will announce a $100 gift card winner. Will we today? Yeah, we will today. Yeah. And then we'll do the rewatch announcement on Monday. This is a new product for Simon Says Stamp. This is holographic rainbows cardstock. It's a nice, high quality, 100 pound weight. Eight and a half by 11, you'll get six sheets, uh, two patterns. We go straight across and we go diagonal. Wildly popular die cuts like a dream that cardstock uh, we also added some more colored envelopes to our selections we've got an ivory in slimline now we've got a green in slimline and what's really been popular <laughs> that i love too are we came out with rainbow collection packs so we now have a rainbow collection pack available in slimline and a rainbow collection pack available for you in traditional A2 sized cards. So, hey, we're all about rainbows. I've also got, speaking of rainbows, rainbow bright embellishments. Add a little bling to your cards, part of this release. And this one is called Galaxy. I won't spill those all over and mix them, but these are a nice add on. If you have a touch of glue, like the Gina K glue, it's a nice detail glue. Uh, Simon says has an adhesive, the multi matte media. People or, want you to dump them. Oh, they want me to dump these. Dump them. I don't. I got it. Reed, are you sure? Because you're the That's one that helps fine. clean dump up after them. me. I mean, oh, I mean, look at that. And we don't even have like, we. It's not even a sunny day today. It's pouring rain. And look how those sparkle. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Adhere those with glue, adhere them with phone dots. I think you guys know how to do all that. Now we have a, well, I'll talk about the new ink after we show the 
the um, stamp. So this cling stamp is called Repeating Rainbows. We did have some cards shown today that had repeating rainbows. This one is called Sea and Sky, and this Sea and Sky one also breaks apart. Uh, so you can create several different pieces. This one breaks into three different parts. You could leave them together and create a big landscape, or you can separate them and just use the sky, just use the sea, or just use the land. This stamp set is called Rainbow is my favorite color. And this is a sneak peek, or actually, it's not even a sneak peek. We've already released our June card kit of the month. I'm gonna go grab it, it's over here. So I spent a lot of time putting this kit together. I, I love rainbow, it truly is my favorite color. This month's card kit, it's the June card kit of the month, Please act now if you want to buy it. Uh, rainbows are always popular. We included a sheet of that holographic cardstock for you. We included a sheet of white cardstock. Look at the rainbow gems. These are by memory box. So you've got every color in the rainbow. We've got an exclusive to Simon Says Stamp pack of paper designed by Doodlebug, everybody's favorite cute brand. Doodlebug has this uh, custom cardstock pack. They also have shape sprinkles that coordinate beautifully. There's that stamp set. We have an exclusive Simon Says Stamp uh, stencil included in this kit. This is a six by or a slim line. We've got one of those holographic envelopes that we talked about a few minutes ago. We've got a whole package of the mini domed ink blending foam. These are these were, they're new-ish. These have come out in the last couple of months by Ranger and they're domed, so it makes your ink blending a little more dreamy. Of course, we gotta put in a little bit of sunshine. So we put in a yellow poof into this kit. Uh, you know, there's a sunshine, this, there's a sun, oh, the stencil isn't a very good way to see it. There's a sun that you can make on the stencil and there's also um, rainbows that you can add your sunshine to with that poof. Of course, we include an inspiration sheet for you. Oh, thank you, Reed. This is that stencil, so you can turn your stencil into a sun. The kit also includes this die. I, you know what? What is the retail of this kit? I think that if you're a subscriber, you only pay $34.99. And if you want to buy just the kit, it's $39.99. And that is an incredible value. Four ink cubes. A rainbow die, set of stencils, inspiration sheet loaded with ideas. And don't forget, we've got a YouTube channel loaded with ideas and videos on how to do some of the cards that you'll see on our website. Six by eight stamp set. Just the stamp set retails for $24.99. So the fact that you can be a subscriber and get this whole kit for $34.99 is really amazing holographic envelope. Here custom double-sided cardstock, which is great for die cutting that rainbow, gems, holographic cardstock. I mean, this kit is loaded appropriately so for June, our rainbows month. All right, Reed, I think we're gonna, oh, oh, I've got another card to show you. This was way out of my reach and I wanna make sure I, I include this too. Tropical Silhouettes designed by Christina Werner. Check out this cool card by Callie Person. I like how she combines stamping with embossing. And so those leaves that are embossed stand out and make it look extra dimensional. Thank you, Callie. Coordinating dies with that too. I've made a huge, gigantic mess. Don't forget about sports. The kids are back in sports. What a good sports summer stamp set and die. And this has every sentiment you want for a birthday party or sending to your teammates or your coach, serving up some birthday fun. Thank you, coach. Good friends always stick together. Look at those, I wanna call them emojis, but look at those images on the bottom of that. This is what a good sports summer. That rounds out our Simon Says stamp release. You wanna switch camera? I don't know if you guys can see the, <laughs> the mess I made. I've got a card kit over there. I've got product in front of me, I've got my PET for my water, and the, don't forget, if you have a PET, your glue won't stick to that, so you can rest your 
your drippy glue on there while you're crafting. I mean, we're just loaded. Whew. Oh, oh, there is one product that I didn't show you in that um, other video. We have these new mesh zipper pouches available. Uh, you can buy one at a time, a pack of three or a pack of 12. And these are exclusive to Simon Stampin'. They've got our cute little logo and our cute little paw print. You can store your card kits in these. You can store your new products in them. You can store your cards and envelopes in them. You can store anything. These are a nice quality water resistant uh, mesh bag that zip and close. And they, they're 10 by 13. And we did that for you so you can make sure you can fit your eight and a half by 11 sheets in there and your slimline cards and envelopes in there and store them all in one place if, if you want and need. Reed, is there, are there some things that, I'm out of breath, that I missed talking about and sharing with everybody today? No, you did a great job. Um, thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, remember to share this video uh, if you feel inclined to. And uh, playback viewers, be sure to leave a comment. We'll be choosing a playback winner on Monday at noon. Do we have the winner for today for that $100 gift card? Speaking of all the winners. We have two. Oh, good. Oh, yes. If you're on Facebook, thank you for joining us. And if you're on YouTube, thank you for joining us. Reed has taught us how to stream both places live at the same time. So thanks again, Reed. If you're on Facebook and your name is Carol Stockwell, you win a $100 gift card to Simon's to Stamp. You can get anything you want. These products are anything from top brands in our industry. $100 gift card, one-stop shop. YouTube winner is Sue Breen. So Sue, you also get a $100 gift card. Thank you for watching. If you're watching us on Rewatch, you can still win. So to yeah. claim uh, your prize, especially the YouTube person, email me, it's gonna be read, R-E-E-D, at simonsaysstamp.com to claim your prize. Simple as that. Read at simonsystamp.com. He's giving out the $100 gift cards. Remember, if you like what you saw today, it would mean a lot to us if you could share it with your friends and your community so they can enjoy it too. Thank you for joining us. I hope you had fun. I, I appreciate getting to see everybody virtually and in the chat today. So thank you. And thank you to Kathy from CZ Design for joining us and creating a lot of these beautiful products. Until next time, we'll see you in a few weeks. Happy summer!